was dusk in the north A small boy after an afternoon of cutting dung He hung, he hung on a rail fence of sap thin So weary to cry in Dark was growing tall Began to hear the pony frogs all calling on his ear Calling on his ear Calling on his ear with what seemed like joy Soon the sound was pleasant for a boy Listening in the smoky dusk and not fall over the night <laughs> From the field Two small boys came Bearing cornstalk violins Rub the cornstalk bows with resins The three just sat there scraping of the joy Of the joy The scraping of the joy So you're building a studio when you, you built a studio or you're building a studio in Elizabeth Right. And you're going to record your new record there? That's the plan. Mm -hmm. Why does it have a name? I'm thinking of calling it the Conservatory. Mm -hmm. Because, not for any m m more obvious reasons, but there's so many birds living in the rafters. That's all you hear, it's just like the scuttling and these this cacophony of birds. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So if you ask me what the next record's going to sound like, I would say, <laughs> Birds, <laughs> frogs, crickets, and yeah. chickens, and roosters, and cows. <laughs> That's what it's going to sound like. <laughs> Finally, I have an easy answer to that question. My skin is white as parchment, drier than a downtown office building. joke with my friends when I first came out here that, you know, oh, what happened to Bird? Like, where'd he go? And, and they're gonna find me, like, in 15 years, like, at my computer, like, with the prairie is, like, come into the barn and the thistles are wrapped around my legs <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, you know, yeah. I was at a concert and I had played in it and then I saw Andrew play and it was very funny, the band he was in, because it was like, he was playing violin and as good as he is, like he hadn't really been playing jazz much, so I mean, and there was like an electric bass player and I think two keyboard players, like so it sounded like Merv and the Magic Tones pretty much. <laughs> How about you Nora, when did you first meet Andrew? I think that first time that Andrew and I sang together we were like, ooh, that you sound, you sound good. That sounds real good. <laughs> Let's keep doing that. And then we started working together. What do you together. mean I'm not invited? What do you mean don't get excited? Thanks for the warning, we'll see you in the morning. Who remembers all they're doing? I was playing like 10 hours a day, of course. And I'd been playing since I was four years old, and I was 22, and suddenly I had to imagine waking up the next morning and not being able to play 
I was I talking to N Nora once, uh -huh. Nora O'Connor. She said that one time you were talking about your whistling. She was saying that if, if, if your arms fell off, you were banking on the whistle so you could keep going, <laughs> keep playing music. Well, I kind of feel like the viol yeah, the violin is not key anymore. It's like if I couldn't play the violin tomorrow, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I can always write and still have ideas. I can always make a musical noise. Being alone, it can be quite romantic. Life's a crystal underneath the Atlantic. A fantastic voyage, two parts unknown. Going to depths where the sun's never shown. And I fascinate myself when I'm alone. I joined the softball team and I went in for my confirmation Where incense looks like steam And I start conjugating proverbs But once they were announced This whole damn rhyme scheme to the starting to get me down I was trying to create, have this like creative utopia, you know? And, you know, I'm realizing that maybe that there isn't such a thing, but that this is what this place is all about. Having a place where I live, and I get up, and I make breakfast, and have some coffee, and by the end of breakfast and reading the paper, I've got an idea in my head. I go over, and I start working, and I get that idea down, and I develop it, and four or five hours goes by, and maybe I have something, maybe I don't. I mean, I can get somewhat manic, at times and can get obsessive. And I'm trying to get away from that as much as I can and just make it part of everyday life.